Hey, Divine Ones. So I'm just sitting here in the car line waiting to get my kids. And this word came to me. The Lord is pulling you out of religion in this season. He pulling you out of religion. And I'm going to tell you why. Religion has taught us that we are all sinners. That we are dirty. That we are filthy. That uh, we are inferior. That we are low. That we are... You know, that God is mad at us, that God is going to get us, that we going to hell and that God is going to do this and God is going to do that. And, and we, we, you know, we've placed God as this physical man you know, sitting on a throne up in the sky. And I want to tell y'all that that's so far from what the gospel is. That's so far from what the kingdom of God is. The kingdom of God is none of that. The kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom of God is a mindset. It's a mentality that you come into. When you wake up to who you really are in God, you come into consciousness. That's what it means to be lost. It don't mean that you're physically lost. Okay? It don't mean that you're that you that you nobody that God is going to get you that you I'm going to tell y'all something about religion religion and sometimes when you go in a church and y'all know y'all like this video if y'all never felt like this but sometimes when you go in the church they just beat you down so much they tell you everything that you're doing wrong they beat you down by this they beat you down by that you feel like you're nothing you feel like I ain't nothing but I'm just a, I'm a sinner I'm just dirty I'm filthy I'm nasty I got habits I got addictions I'm just broke busted and disgusted and then they come throwing the bible at you throwing the word at you beating you down with the word ain't no love they ain't showing you no compassion and it's just a mess and that's so far away from what the kingdom of god is see when you come into the knowledge of who you really are in god you'll understand that god wants you to be successful god wants you to be blessed god wants you to be um uh, on the throne on the throne as in a mindset god wants you to come up from that low thinking that low way of thinking that way of thinking that says i'm a nobody i'm a nobody you know i don't deserve good things bad things supposed to happen to me no that is not the kingdom of god that's not the ways of god God wants you to come into this superior way of thinking to know that you deserve good things. You are worthy. I know religion done told you that you ain't worthy. Oh, I ain't worthy. I just want to see it in heaven. I ain't worthy. Yes, you are worthy. You are worthy. And the only thing that comes to people in this life are the people that know that they deserve it. The people that believe that they deserve to have good things. Those are the things that come to people. Those are the people that get good things. The people that deserve, the people that feel like they deserve to have them. If you keep sitting out thinking, I ain't nothing, I'm just a sinner, and God gonna get me, and, 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 and you keep living like that, you ain't gonna never come into that abundant life that Jesus promised you. I'm gonna tell y'all something. The Lord, been, the Lord been revealing a whole lot of things to me. And a lot of folks ain't going to like what I'm talking about. But I came to tell you the truth. That's all right. I'm in good company. Because I ain't like Jesus neither. I'm coming to tell you the truth. We were brought up up under the wrong thing. We were brought up up under the wrong teaching. It's, God said it's time out for us to keep, keep, stop letting religion beat you down. And make you think that you, 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 don't, you don't need to do this. You don't need to do that. You don't need to touch this. You don't need to touch that. You dirty. You filthy. You a sinner. You this. You that. You humble yourself. Yes, you do need to humble yourself. But at the same time, you got to come out of that slave mentality. You ain't no slave no more. You got to come out of that slave mentality. And understand that you're royalty. You're royalty. You're not only just a servant of God, but you're a child of God. You're a child of God. The servants... Y'all know the children of the kingdom get better benefits than the servants do. Come on now. And that's why, that's why Jesus used the prodigal son parable to teach you that you got a mindset to believe that you're a servant to God. But God is telling you, no, you're not just my, you're not a servant. God is telling you, you are my child. Everything that I have is yours. Everything that I possess belongs to you. But God can't give you something that you don't believe that you deserve. He can't give you something that you feel that you are unworthy to have. You got to come into the consciousness. That's what Jesus meant when he said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He means change the way you think. You've been thinking too low. You've been thinking the wrong way. It's time to come into the right state of thinking so you can receive the things of God. So you can receive your inheritance. 
royalty know they royalty and royalty carry themselves like they royalty royalty ain't walking around here talking about i ain't worthy i ain't worthy of success i ain't worthy just give me a seat over there in the room just give me just give me a place in heaven just let me get to heaven i mean uh-uh no you a child of god the earth is the Lord and the fullness there all belongs to him. And if it, it, and if God is your father and all this belongs to him, God said this also belongs to you. What does that mean? That means anything you want in this world, if you believe you can have it, it's yours. But you will never get it if you keep feeling like you less than. If you keep feeling like you're not worthy. Step out of religion. Come out of religion. I know we've been taught one way, but that's what Jesus meant. He said, I know you've been taught one way. I know you've been taught to think this way, but I'm telling you to stop thinking that way. You got to think, you got to come into a higher state of consciousness. You got to come into a new way of thinking. That's what it means to repent, to come from going one way and turn around and go another way, to think a different way. We got to come out of it, y'all. We got to come out of it. That's my message today, tomorrow, and forevermore. I don't care who like it. I'm going to do what God told me to do. That's my message. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In other words, change the way you thinking. You've been thinking the wrong way. Change the way you think. And come into the knowledge of who you are in God. And receive the kingdom. Because the kingdom of God is within you. And once you get into it, once you get in the kingdom, can't nobody keep you out of it. They can't keep you out of it. The religious, the religious leaders, they can't keep you out of it because it's within you. That's why God didn't put it in a physical place because he knew that they could kick you out of there. But they can't take from, they can't take what's in you. So I love y'all so much. Y'all be blessed. Play this video a couple times. Get it in your spirit. I love y'all. This has been Latoya Okia, your life coach. I'll see y'all later.